Corruption is a worldwide concern that poses a threat to the social and economic well-being of all people across the globe. For this reason, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the UN Convention Against Corruption on 31st October 2003. They also designated 9th December as International Anti-Corruption Day, which many countries observe every year as part of concerted global efforts to combat corruption. In 2021, we commemorated the International Anti-Corruption Day in two counties, with one event in Isiolo County and the other major event in Mombasa County. Among the activities, we had uh, corruption risk assessments for the counties, we had training sessions, we had entertainment, we had roadshows, and so on and so forth. And the whole point of this was to create awareness about uh, the work that we're doing against corruption. The initiative brought together stakeholders, international partners, and members of the public to raise public awareness on the effects of corruption and to foster public support in the fight against corruption. Starting with the mandate of VACC, which is both to combat and to prevent corruption, uh, which is done through law enforcement, education, public awareness, and the promotion of standards and ethics. Uh, what this suggests is that apart from taking people to court, which is what most Kenyans uh, are familiar with, the other thing that we are doing is we are preventing corruption using the education public awareness uh, channels. We go out to schools, we do outreaches, uh, we establish uh, integrity clubs in institutions of learning. And the whole message is this, prevention is better than cure. So we start with the prevention, we uh, train and we educate. And if that doesn't work, then the enforcement aspect comes in. School outreaches, ambayo ni kutembelea mashule, haswa ni kutembelea mashule kwa lengo la kukuza hamasa kwa wanafunzi, kuhusiana na maswala ya uadilifu, masala ya kupambana na ufisadi. So tunamini kwa sababu wanachukua muda mwingi sana shuleni, watoto wanaweza kujifunza yale maadili ambayo yatawafanya kwa watakuwa viongozi wa adilifu keshoni na wataweza kulinda rasilimali za nchi hii na wataweza kuwa viongozi uh, wema katika nchi yetu. Ya umuhimu wa kutembelea shule wakati tunajiandaa kuadhimisha siku ya kupambana na ufisadi ulimwenguni ni kwa sababu lengo kuu la kuadhimisha siku hiyo lengo lake ni kukuza hamasa kwa wananchi wote wafanyikazi wa serikali mashirika sokoa ya kiserikali na miongoni mwa wale wananchi kuko na wanafunzi kwa hiyo tuko hapa kukuza hamasa kwa wanafunzi kuhusiana na mambo ya uadilifu na kupambana na ufisadi ili watuunge mkono katika hivi vita dhidi ya ufisadi na zaidi haswa ni kwa sababu wao ni vijana vijana wako na nafasi kubwa kwa sababu ni wengi katika jamii yetu ya Kenya wako na nafasi kubwa iwapo tutaweza kuwapatia na iwapo tutaweza kuwakuza kimaadili wataweza kutusaidia katika hivi vita dhidi ya ufisadi na ndio maana tumeweza kuwalenga wao ili kukuza hamasa na wawe pamoja na sisi kwenye safari hii We have two major roles that ESCC plays within the regional office number one is enforcement and number two, we have got preventive aspects where we have got disruption, we have education training and public awareness, as well as giving advisories to both the county government and uh, national government departments that are within this region. CLIF, or Kenya Leadership Integrity Forum, is a forum of, for the uh, stakeholders in the fight against corruption it comprises state and non-state actors. Uh, state actors include um, the presidency, ESCC, ODPP, judiciary, KRA, and other institutions that are related to government or that have been set aside by government. Uh, non-state actors include those organizations like private sector, or the faith sector, the civil society, and other organ such organizations. The campaign makes Kenyans understand uh, really what is corruption, the types of corruption, uh, how corruption manifests itself, the negative effects corruption has on our daily lives, but most important, the actions 
citizens should take to fight and prevent corruption. And what we have done to reach the ordinary members of the public uh, where they stay, we have established campaign networks uh, in the counties. Once we get those nominees, we train them uh, on corruption and how they can disseminate the information so that then we can be able to get the members of public uh, on board in the fight against corruption, to actively participate in the fight against uh, corruption. From the perspective of the EACC, the first thing that you need to do is abstain from corruption. Uh, the second thing that you need to do uh, is report uh, incidents of corruption whenever they occur. But the third one, which I think is possibly the most important, is to reject corruption by rejecting bad leadership. So we're encouraging Kenyans to vote leaders with integrity. Ukitaka kuel, ku, kumaliza ofisadi, kuna nguzo tatu ambazo lazima uwenazo. Nguzo ya kwanza, uwe na jamii ambayo inafuata sheria. Jamii ambayo inafuata sheria na inati sheria. Pengo la pili ambalo ni muhimu tujue katika kupigana na ofisadi ni siasa ya nchi. Ukiwa siasa ya nchi ni kuwa ni kuwa na pesa nitahongana, nitakuwa mbunge, nitakuwa MCA, yule mbunge si mjinga. Akitumia milion tano, akiingia bunge, ana agenda yake. Agenda ya kwanza ni kurudisha zile pesa saka alzotumia. Agenda ya pili ni kuiba ndo next election awe na pesa kukuhonga hata na wewe. Alafu wewe una expect maendeleo. Kitengo cha tatu ni vitengo vya serikali viwe na nguvu ya kisawasawa. Tukiongea vitengo vya serikali kwa upande wa ufisadi hapa tunaongea ESCC, tunaongea eh, koti na tunaongea mahali ya mkuu wa mashtaka. The impact and the uh, quick outcomes, we can see them because we can see the enthusiasm in Wanainchi and they're making a commitment to do something in, within their own power. For example, we had a conversation where Wanainchi said now they are aware that the, the ballot they have is very powerful and can determine the kind of leadership they will get uh, come 2022. So those are some of the quick outcomes we are seeing and powered Wanainchi who are now gaining courage to say something about corruption, to say something about what they can do to fight corruption and what they can do to ensure that they have leaders who um, are, are, can, are, can prudently take care of the resources that is uh, entrusted with them. As part of the things that ESCC has managed to achieve in the war against corruption, uh, we have prosecuted many high profile individuals uh, we have secured uh, convictions, very heavy fines and very heavy sentences, and also recovered assets in excess of Kenya shillings, 25 billion. Kwa hivyo, tunasema katika umambo ya kupambana na ufisadi, sisi kama vitengo wa serikali tutafanya kazi yetu, japoko tuko na, ma, na changamoto katha, kwa upande wenu njini wananchi, siyasa muyangale ni siyasa aina gani munaifuatilia.